Hi, my name is Justin, and I am a member of the Challengers Boys and Girls Club in South Los Angeles. Across the street from our building is our community garden. As you can see, right now it's not much of a garden. This wasn't always the case though. In past years, there are plenty of flowers, fruits, and vegetables. It actually looked pretty good. But people from the outside will always hop the fence, trample everything, and leave their trash all over the place. Even though the club has never given up on it, it seems nothing has a chance to grow here. Some club members get discouraged. Why plant something, they ask, if it's probably just going to get destroyed? This got me thinking about my entire community of South Los Angeles. In a way, it's kind of like our garden. It always seems to get trampled on, and because of this, many people have given up on it. They think that only negative things can come from it. I, however, think the opposite, and I'd like to show you those in my community who are working hard to make a positive difference. I can hardly imagine, I try, uh, but I can hardly imagine the fear and the anger that people must feel uh, to terrorize one another and burn each other's property. But I saw remarkable signs of hope right next to the tragic signs of hatred. This marvelous institution, this Boys and Girls Club stands unscarred facing a burned out block and its leader is this wonderful man next to me lou dantzler and he started it on the back of an old pickup truck with a group of kids that wanted to get off the street and its existence proves the power of our better selves and let's never forget it and let's count our blessings that was president bush speaking in the gym at challengers he came to see the damage done to the surrounding community by the 1992 riots. As he mentioned, challengers have remained untouched by the violence. I guess people realized that it was a special place. Lou Dantzler, the founder of Challengers, had worked hard to make it a source of hope for many families. I know it has for mine. I'd like to tell you a little more about it and my experience there. Since its beginning, Challengers has been a stronghold for kids and teens trying to stay off the streets. I've been a club member since I was seven years old. This will be my eighth year here. Now, as a 14 year old, I can look back and say it's had a big impact on my life. Ever since I was young, I was drawn to the club's video program. Since then, I've had the opportunity to shoot many club events, which I then edit on the computer. Making films is something I've come to enjoy. The skills I have learned here have given me the confidence to work on my own projects. This is one of the reasons why Kel and my old video teacher at Challengers and I have teamed up to create this film. I wanted to use my skills to show the positive side of where I live. It was tough when Lou passed away, but the legacy of hope he left behind remains strong. Today, his two sons carry on that legacy. Sometimes, it's crazy to think about how it all started. Uh, Challenger started in 1968. Um, my dad started it with 12 kids in the back of his truck, and he used to take us to the park and do a lot of different activities out there. And then as we started growing, um, he needed a building, so we got a place on Pico, uh, which was the upstairs of a movie theater, and it was really small in there, but you know, that was home at the time. And then we bought the Bonds Market, which was an abandoned building in 1970, and renovated into a clubhouse, and added the addition in 1999, and the 
tennis courts in 2000. So we went from 12 kids to probably around 500 kids in a matter of two years. Many people ask, what is the driving force behind Challenger? I say it's the positive mindset within each and every one involved in the club, from the kids and the parents to the community members and the staff. I asked one of the staff members, what do you think is the most important thing the club passes on to the youth here? One of the most important I would think is hope. Um, letting the young people know that there's a way out. You know, you know, being raised in South Central LA is not always the most positive thing. You kind of get sheltered or boxed in this area sometimes. So, you know, it's a bigger world out there. So my thing is just to get them to think outside the box and, you know, live their dreams out, go beyond, above and beyond. Staying on track to following your dreams isn't always the easiest thing to do. Sometimes certain obstacles in life seem too tough, and some club members find themselves getting into trouble. Challengers, however, has been good at taking many potentially negative situations and turning them into positive experiences. Here at Challengers, we kind of adapt to the uh, each one teach one, and I think that that's a really good philosophy for practical purposes because um, those who are older, more mature, much more experienced can teach and, and lead the way. We have members here uh, that I've seen just do a total transformation from being the kind of people that got in trouble, kicked out, expelled almost, to realizing that people here want to help them and want to see them do well. And, and I've watched one person in particular sort of been our success story for the last year about how he just changed his life around completely and now he's one of our leaders. Came back the last time, it was my last last chance, which I'm on now, my last chance. And pretty much I came back on limited days. But you know, I came I, I came back on limited days, but I came back for a purpose this time. I came back to have a positive impact on the kids, especially kids like Andrew was going, was going, like going in the wrong direction like I was. If I can change that, if I can change that, if they can look at me and say, I want to be like Nick with, like he's going in the positive direction. Well, he's a good guy. He, when he mentors me, well, sometimes we like to play around a lot, and uh, he gives me a, a speech training, tells me to say these kind of words, and, and sometimes when I'm doing stuff bad, Nicholas will always come to me, tell me to stop, and, and basically he's just always trying to help me be a positive kid. If there's one thing Challenger preaches, it's being positive. And it's with this positive outlook that I think anything is possible. I, th I think more important what, what I'd like to do is just be able to provide a good foundation for all the youth that come through the club um, with uh, either dressing for success, how to speak to uh, people, um, maybe public speaking, how to obtain a job, um, and just really provide them with some opportunities and experiences that maybe they may not have had an opportunity to experience and have if they were not involved with the club. And hopefully, the legacy I would like to leave behind is having, having kids um, come back and give back to their communities, be involved with their own Boys and Girls 